the 53rd Chevron Championship. Remember, it debuted back in 1972. The event officially became a women's major championship in 1983. So this is the second time the tournament is being played at the club at Carlton Woods in the Houston suburb of the Woodlands, Texas. Coverage beginning tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time right here on Golf Channel 2. Some of the notable tee times and a little bit of foreshadowing from our man Jordan there. As you see, Nelly is off at 2.10 Eastern time with defending champion Lilia Vu. We get going early. You see those two groups at 8.59 Eastern time. One is off the first, one is off the 10th. I got my eyes on that group at 9.21 a.m. Eastern time. Lydia Ko, Brooke Henderson, and Lexi Thompson going to be a fun trio to watch. Amy Rogers joins us now. Amy, no shortage of storylines. We were trying to just touch on a couple. Give us a rundown of what you're looking at. Hey there, George. Well, history and major championships, they just seem to go hand in hand. And it's around these big events that players gear their entire schedules, making sure that their games are exactly where they want them to be coming into these big events because they just mean that much. Well, this Chevron championship uh, making history extends beyond just hoisting the trophy here on Sunday as three players in the field won't just be chasing a win, but also pursuing history of their own over the next several days, starting off with Nelly Corda. She has a chance to add her name to a very short list. That includes Nancy Lopez and Annika Sorensam as she looks to win for a fifth consecutive start. I asked her yesterday what history means to her and about her place in it. And she said that she's really just been so focused on the present, she hasn't given it much thought just yet. Well, Lydia Ko, another player here in the field, chasing history this weekend. Now, after she won that season opener at the beginning of this year, that put her within just one point of qualifying for the LPGA Tour Hall of Fame. She's just 26 years of age, and she just needs 27 points to get into the hall. She has 26, and if she were to win here on Sunday, that would earn her two points for a major victory and put her over that finish line. Now, a win here Sunday would be a second <coughs> Chevron title for Co, a third career major title, and a 21st win on the LPGA Tour. Now, Angela Stanford also chasing a bit of history here this weekend in Houston. Thanks to a special exemption, Stanford is in the field competing this week in her 98th consecutive consecutive major. Now, her goal is get is to get get to 100 straight majors play. That means that she will need to qualify, getting through that 36-hole qualifier uh, just next month to get into the field at the U.S. Women's Open and will then need to also make a start in the KPMG Women's PGA Championship in June. Uh, yesterday, I had a chance to speak with her, and at 46 years of age, she said that it's just getting a little bit tougher for her physically to not only get ready for these rounds but to rehab afterwards. I asked her why she's putting herself through all this and if she just her goal if she intends to walk away you know sometimes think there you would see things once in a generation or once in a lifetime and you know even if it wasn't me I would still want one of our players to cross the line like I wouldn't care who it was I would want an LPGA player to get to 100 um, because I think it is going to be historically once in a tour kind of deal. Um, obviously, because Jack Nicholas is the only human to ever do this. So, you know, I, regardless if it was me or somebody else, I just, I hope I get there. Um, I appreciate Chevron helping me in this step, the 98th step. Um, I have my US Open qualifier next week. So I've, I've been thinking about that quite a bit, but I don't want it to stop at 98. So if you reach that goal this year, is that it? Will you walk away at that point? Yeah, you know, it's it's been pretty interesting. I I I was I don't really want to talk about it, which I think is weird because I'm one of those people. I'll I'll answer any question you, you know, I I've always been that way. I I'm an open book when it comes to media and and I I th it's been weird. It's like I don't really want to talk about it, but if I can get to 100, um I want to go to Evian. And then I'll play my favorites this fall. And honestly, I think that's it. Um, I just, I've, the time I've put in this off season and getting to the point where it takes so much just to get up and play, you know, I, again, I've been really healthy and, and my body's just, it just takes so much more to recover. So again, it goes back to respecting the competition, respecting the game. If I can't give it 
I, it's time to go do something else. You heard Stanford mention a moment ago Jack Nicholas. He holds the record for consecutive majors played at 154. If Stanford can reach her goal of 100 consecutive majors played, that would be a first on the LPGA Tour. George? Thank you, Amy. And that 154 number by Jack, just another one of the ridiculous records <laughs> that the Golden Bear has. So you, you get a double dip on Thursday. We start at 10 a.m. Eastern time for round one coverage. Then they circle back later in the day at 6 p.m. Eastern on Golf Channel and Peacock. On the weekend, it shifts on over to NBC and Peacock as well.